channel is Mystic Rainbow Tarot and thank you for joining me today. This is a reading on Justin Bieber and because this is around Halloween time I'm going to use my Halloween deck to find out the energy surrounding Justin and also to see what additional messages I can receive from Spirit to help us see what's going on in, in his life at the moment. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of our subscribers for their support and anyone who's been supporting us with messages and everything. So um, please remember to share, like and subscribe if you wish to. And so let's dive into the reading now about Justin Bieber. So I'm just going to get the cards. Give them a quick shuffle. And see what we can find out. messages about Justin Bieber and the energies surrounding him messages about Justin Bieber past present and future his personal life uh, with his wife Haley or anything about Justin Bieber Justin Bieber Let's find out about what's happening with Justin at the moment messages that we're allowed to know about Justin so these are quite big cards so I'm gonna to have to move some things out of the way to put them down So let's what we see what we have first in the reading. We've got the ghost and the vampire. So that's the ghost one. Good Halloween card and the vampire. So I'll hold these up hopefully where you can see them. So the messages that I'm getting are that this relates to Justin has some regrets he needs to let go of and also he has been holding on to some grudges about the way he's been treated when he was younger in the music industry and this would have been at a time when fame was all too overwhelming for him and he didn't feel there was anyone who understood him um, and he did go off the rails a bit and um, he was going through a lot at the time and this is when he started out in the industry and he was such a young, uh, he was such a young age he really needed support also Justin felt he lost a lot of his childhood being a star rather than being um, like other lads his age and enjoying fun things um, he was kind of touring and shut away in hotel rooms al alone because if he went out, he would be mob mobbed either by paparazzi or fans. And I know a lot of childhood stars go through this and it messes with their head and gives them depression and makes them feel lonely and isolated. Also, um, Justin had to deal with some things like people trying to take advantage of him, you know, his goodwill. And even some tried to manipulate him. Also, he had people suing him for things um, he hadn't even done. And that came with the territory. When you're rich and famous, unfortunately, you become a target like that. So what what's happened now is he's had to put up some boundaries, which luckily um, he has learned to do these days. Now he's a bit older to shield himself um, from negatives um like negative things on social media that he gets some of the time and so he's got some boundaries in place that he feels help him more 
which is good because in a way that's something you really only learn to do as you're a bit older like he is now so um let's see what other cards we have in the reading so the next cards we have are the underworld that's a good card with the skull on and night song which has got a lovely red bird on so i'll try and hold these up where they're going to be in view um so with these two cards i feel justin has been working on himself and looking at how exactly to transform his career and the messages i'm getting are that he writes his best songs um at night and in the early hours of the morning and that's why um you know we have this night song bird in the reading um and that indicates that um and he is keen to keep trying out new styles and types of music and songs because in the last couple of years he has felt a little stuck but i do see this as just being a temporary thing and now he feels much more in the flow um you know with his singing i mean and i can hear the improvement with his latest song he's, he's getting more how he used to sing um you know and i'm talking about back in the day um when he was at his height and um plus i see justin sort of stepping up because he's making a comeback and he wants to um step up into his full potential is what i mean because you know he's got so much more talent to show his fans and more to give and express from within and i think this is what he's trying to do now because he does feel um better in himself he's certainly a lot better than he was a couple of years ago so let's see what else we've got in the reading we've got midnight that looks like Haley there and we've got the apple there so I'll try and hold these in view um, so what I'm getting with these cards is Justin's last album um, he didn't feel his songs were doing as well you know as they used to like the ones back you know when he did his purpose tour when he was at the real height of his stardom so um what i'm getting is he was a bit down about that um but it's been hayley and this indicates about hayley it's been hayley who has been encouraging him to carry on with his comeback um and this this card is relating to her and i see her sitting up um past midnight into the early hours of the morning in fact with justin while he's composing songs and as you can see um this has got the clock on it this one and it's at midnight but you know it's indicating that it's going past midnight and she stays and supports him with it so i feel like he does his um best work at night um he's a bit of a night owl i do think um this is when he connects best with his higher self and he can then express his true feelings through his songs um yeah so also i feel um hayley gives justin a sense of stability you know as he hasn't had a lot of stability in his life when he was growing up so that's what that's all about so let's see what we have next we next have the black cat and that's a lovely card with the cat sitting on a pile of books there so um try and hold this where you can see it so um with this black cat in the reading i feel like some luck is coming into justin's career and um i see is he is prepared to go for any opportunities that he feel will be of a special advantage or lucky for pushing his career forward and this is all um also about he can create his own luck too 
because he's in the right mindset uh, for new pro projects, which is great. So, um, and he's sort of always looking for new ways to project himself lately. So, um, with the next card, which is the witch. Let's just... Um, the next card here, this is the witch. This is a good picture of the witch and um, she's in full manifesting form there with her spells and her cauldron over the fire. So um, so with this card, um, this is about he has everything he needs inside of himself to stay at the top of his game and he's just figuring out how to do that. This also indicates that others in the industry have felt threatened by Justin's comeback um, because they know his potential. He's been a huge star. And um, and the thing is, with Justin's recent success, um, with his new song, you know, I think they were rather hoping that he would fade into the shadows and flop and they could take his place. But, you know... There's a lot of rivalry in the music world, but there are still plenty of artists who support him. Um, he still has a lot of friends on his side in the industry. And, you know, they will be only too happy to work with him and collab with him. And, you know, if he can stay in a positive mindset, I think there will be a lot of good opportunities coming his way. So let's see what else we have in the reading. We have the hearth. So, I don't know if you can see that, which is lovely with the burning fire with the logs on and the candles either side. So, that's very homely. So, this relates to Justin and Hayley, and, and they've been looking at what they both want in regards to um, home and family. And putting their relationship first because I am seeing a lot of conflict in their marriage at the moment um, it's very difficult at the moment there's a lot of rows Justin is not happy and Hayley is not happy so you know something's going off in their marriage um, so they need to move forward and, and address this um, whatever's going on in their marriage with all these rows and they and they've got to sort it out in the best way for both of them to be happy also i'm getting um the message that they have been trying for a baby and um but all this stress in their marriage is not helping that and they seem to have fertility problems and i think um you know when you do when you are having a lot of arguments and there's a lot of stress that can put a block on anything like that so it's it's kind of um catch 22 with that so i feel um justin really wants the family as well because his own um parents split up when he was very young and um that had a big impact on his life and um justin does seem to think that having a baby will fix things and make him happy also um Hayley wants a family and um she thinks that they'll be happy again if um they have a baby so but Hayley is is willing to wait if necessary but Justin doesn't want to because she feels they got plenty of time with that but um you know because they are still young but Justin is really really wants a baby he feels that's um you know that's going to make everything all right and that that's the thing that's missing from his life that will make him complete and happy um and they, and they both do feel that a family unit is the answer um and will solve everything and i see Haley visiting her doctor because she hasn't been able to get pregnant to find out answers um, to this problem, you know, solutions for it. So um, 
I'll just put this back. And then the next card that we have is the zombie. Not a very good picture of a zombie's hand coming up there in the graveyard. So um, I'll just hold that where you can see it. And, and that's at night. So this relates to them looking at their relationship and seeing if they are living their most authentic life. Um, and if they feel, um, you know, they can have an equal balance in their marriage um, because they don't have that at the moment. There's arguments and stress. Um, so there, there needs to be sort of more free expression uh, but compromise, not turn it into an argument. People need to listen to each other and sit down quietly and talk about things. Um, because one of these two um, seems to have to be in control or in charge. Um, and the other one feels um, angry some of the time and manipulated. So it blows up into arguments. So... You know, I think they might well benefit from going to a marriage guidance counsellor, to be honest. So anyway, um, let's put this card down and let's put it back where it was, actually. And the next card is the death card. So um hope you can see that. So with this death card, it... It doesn't mean that anyone is dying or has died. This relates to Justin in the way that he needs um, to put the past behind him. I see it. Um, I see that it's it's sometimes hard for Justin to let go of the past. He does seem to hang on to the past, but he needs um, he needs to let go of it to help him with his healing. I do feel his songs are a good outlet and release for him um but he's got to do some work on himself as well and uh, with this death card i do feel justin is going through a renewal and transformation with his singing career i feel like he is trying to reinvent himself because he's gone from a boy to a young man now and he's moving forward with his music to where he has he sort of is now at with his life and he sees things through different eyes now because he's more grown up he's more mature and he wants to lose the teenage idol image um and he wants to be appreciated and valued um for his music um rather than everybody screaming and crushing over him so um he wants to a appeal to a wider audience um, that can relate to this. So I see Justin writing um, new songs uh, from this new perspective and I see him um, putting together another album in the future which I, I feel fans will love and this is all part of his comeback um, and I feel he's being very creative and working very hard um, writing these songs and even in the studio as well practicing to surprise everyone you know so that that's something so he he's doing well career wise um so the next card is the cauldron which seems to be tucked under here so that's a good witch's cauldron there so um so what I'm getting with this card is that um, I see Justin um, combining different techniques and styles and um, visions and literally manifesting good things because he's putting everything um, into his songs and projects. He wants to reach um, the heights he was at a few years ago and even higher, you know, so and I feel... You know, he's got a lot of creative power at the moment and energy. And he is um, creating a new um, life circle for himself. And he's trying to accomplish new things. And I see um, more success for him. 
this all relates to Justin's um, emotional health as well. And I do think he's, you know, he's been growing stronger as he's got a bit older because um, you can deal with things uh, better than when you were a teenager with all your hormones. So he can withstand more negative pressure now, which uh, comes from being in the industry. There's always someone trying to knock you. So um, with things like um, the papers and social media and anything like that, he he does know how to deal with it or walk away from it more. Um, and I do see that he relies more on his spiritual practices and beliefs. And I do feel um, that they help him a lot to stay strong and they keep him grounded. You know, he's very involved with um, the church and people within the church. I do feel um, also he's becoming much more healthy from the inside out, um, you know, as a person, stronger spiritually, that type of thing. So um, let's see what else we have in the reading. So next we have the um, trick-or-treat card. That's nice with the um, ghost in it there. And this one is the joy card, which is a lovely autumn-y card with all the leaves in it. So um, and this girl literally jumping for joy. So I'll hold those where you can see them. So I feel... Um, the energies that are surrounding um, Justin and Haley um, around Halloween time, you know, I feel they they are the sort of people who can put um, their troubles aside for a special occasion, a party, Halloween, whatever it be, um, you know, Christmas, a birthday, anything like that. And we've all done that. Um, they do know how to enjoy themselves and forget their problems for an evening or a few hours. And I see them having fun and a good laugh and a good time on Halloween, which is good. So, um, yeah, so that's the end of the reading. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sending you all love and light and happy Halloween, everyone. And thank you for watching. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.